I'm Charles Bankhead of MedPage Today, reporting from the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium. Treatment with a drug that targets an enzyme critical to cancer cells DNA repair resulted in almost a 60% improvement in survival in women with a poor prognosis form of breast cancer known as triple negative disease. The drug, currently known only as BSI-201, is the first member of an entirely new class of cancer agents called PARP inhibitors. Dr. James Ford of Stanford University describes the key points from the preliminary study reported in San Antonio. A couple of points I think are really of interest. One is that this class of compounds, PARP inhibitors, is really an entirely new uh, um, uh, a pathway to target in cancers uh, that hasn't been exploited before. The second is it's a, a very interesting area for triple negative breast cancer in particular for which we really haven't had specific targeted agents since the, it's lacking uh, some of the targets that other drugs are for. And it, and it seems that PARP inhibitors are quite selective and specific for, for this kind of cancer. And then just to the, to the, uh, to the point of, of of the activity of it and, and the idea of how spectacular this really is. I think all of us that, that, that treat cancer patients and breast cancer patients are incredibly impressed uh, with the amount of activity that was seen in this group of women who had metastatic uh, triple negative breast cancer and aggressive cancer. Many of them have been treated with other uh, chemotherapy regimens before uh, and uh, you know, a near doubling of their survival time was very impressive. What's exciting about today's uh, poster is, is really those results have held up uh, with more time. Because it targets a process common to all cancer cells, the PARP inhibitor will likely be tested against a variety of other types of cancer. Uh, the underlying idea that you can target genomic instability or, or DNA repair defects in cancer uh, uh, makes sense that it should be active in lots of other cancers, uh, since that's a real underlying fundamental uh, principle in, in, in how cancers develop. So I think the real goal now is to identify uh, other cancers or subgroups within those other cancers, just, just as happened in breast cancer, that might be most susceptible to, to be targeted by this. And there's already good uh, preclinical evidence that that will be the case uh, in a number of cancers, potentially ovarian cancer, pancreas cancer, lung cancer, and, and some others. From the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium, I'm Charles Bankhead, MedPage Today.